Hello YouTube, Rich K Retro here. <laughs> Feeling a little bit much better. <laughs> so yeah, so literally, uh, this is my um, Play Expo chat. Play Expo chat, um, some, yeah, basically the items I picked up from Play Expo, um, trades, and just random charity shop. But I've just, just had my food, so I thought, I thought you know, fucking been ill all week. <laughs> Play Expo was messy, was really messy, yeah. So, I've been wanting to do a video at the beginning of the week, but I thought I'd let everyone put their videos up, so I put it at the end of the week and have a good, yeah, good chat. So, yeah, so I'd like to thank, yeah, thank all my new subscribers, and also, yeah, thanks to the guys from, um, yeah, literally everyone who I met at the weekend. It was, it was, it was a brilliant weekend, I just absolutely loved it. I did start off a bit annoyed because I was like, I left quite late on the Friday, I'm like, I gotta get there, I gotta get there, so yeah, so I drove up from Cornwall. To Manchester, it took about five and a half hours actually. Five five and a half hours. It was the drone. To be honest, the drone was doing my head in. Literally half an hour from my home, road works. So you've gone from like seventy miles an hour to thirty miles an hour for about ten miles. It was just like doing my head in. So it was like really annoying. And then suddenly, you, further you go up north, and it's all these average speed checks, average speed checks, and that was doing my head in as well. I'm like, oh, I'm doing that fifty miles an hour average speed check. There's still cars going past for fun. I'm like, is this average speed check or what? But yeah, so it was great to meet everybody. Yeah, so shut up, might as well just tell, tell the story, yeah, might as well just tell the story of the weekend. Um, yeah, so I met, basically, yeah, I um, stayed at the Travelodge Hotel, which was near Chill Factor, and that was, it was only like £25 a night, so I just stayed there for two nights, just basic hotel, and I was just texting, I'm a gamer geek, he's a good lad he is, mate, good lad, <laughs> and I met with him just outside, yeah, just outside of the car park, I'll play Expo, about nine o'clock. And yeah, he had some games. It was good, good lad. He was. I'm like, oh, no, I'm a game geek. I'm quite, yeah, I'm quite sort of like in your face and stuff. So I was like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> so I got some games off him. Some master some games. I opened up his boot. We opened up his boot, and I like delved in really, car boot style. <laughs> and I picked all these up for twenty quid. I think they were twenty quid. Yeah, just uh, just to fill holes in my um. Yeah, I'm surprised I didn't have some of these games. Um, yeah, so I picked up Predator Two. Marble Madness, Super Space Invaders. I thought I had that, but obviously not. Fantasy Zone Two. I didn't know there was three of them. For some reason, I only thought there was two. So I was a bit on and on whether to get this one. But obviously, there's Fantasy Zone, which is one, and then there's like something to do with the maze, the maze one. And um, is it the Vanished Omens? So this looks like a pretty good game. So I'll be giving that a blast. Once so long ago, the kingdom of Wise. Full under, yeah. So yeah, so hopefully this is going to be a good game. All these in pretty good condition. He did have some other games that I realised I actually needed because I haven't updated my list until I actually got home. No cap this week. <laughs> no cap this week. Yeah, so after like me for five minutes and going through them, I literally looked at the queue and obviously um, last year they had it like out the front, so I thought, oh, there's no queue. So we went, we went for some breakfast. Um, well, I think I got Burger King in the end. And then we yeah we walked we walked back over and they were, it was at a, at a different entrance and the queue was well big I'm like oh my god the queue and I'm a gamer geek he had like press passes <laughs> you know so I sort of like, I sort of like walk past everyone like walking behind him trying you know trying to get in uh, and then he sort of like went in and sort of like left me on my own I'm like I was like what the hell cheers mate <laughs> I was like cheers so he was able to go in and I was like great I have to go away to the back of the queue which was going around the corner and I saw literally I saw um, I saw who who did I see. Oh, uh, it was, um, oh, who was it? Yeah, I saw some guys, literally, they were right at the front of the court, at, at the at the queue. It was Gunstar Hero, yeah, Gunstar Hero from Retro Collect. He's a good lad, he is. Good lad. He was like, all right, Rich King Retro, and I'm like, oh, just literally thought, yeah, I'll just push him with these guys. That's what I did. So I was saying hello to him, and just right, literally right behind him was like, like, Swede Gamer John, who is now called Swede Gamer ja um, um yeah, Raz, yeah, Swede Gamer Raz. Oh, it's all confusing. I don't know why he called him John, John, because he wasn't actually called John, and he didn't actually like being called John, but, yeah, so it was quite funny, so I was picking him, and there was like a little, little cyber snake, he's like, cyber snake, and he was like, he's like, he's like this big, he's like, you're taller than I, than I thought you would be, I'm like, man, you're smaller than I thought, which is well funny, like, meeting people, this is like real life, if you know what I mean, yeah, so it was like, good, yeah, so we had a good, good chat at the, at the beginning of the queue, and that, just like, waiting to get in, like, itching to get in, they all had, they all had their bounds on already, because, because, um, I guess they all just took all their, um, Tickets off them, so I'm thinking, oh, am I going to be able to get a band? So yeah, and then we slowly like walked in. So yeah, finally got in there. For some reason, they, they weren't very organised. They literally took my ticket. They're like, oh, yeah, they go on in, mate. So I carried on. I'm thinking, where's my band? Where's my weekend band? So I didn't get my weekend band to like halfway through the day. 
so yeah, so we like walked around, walked around there, just just literally just look at all the all the retro stores selling stuff, just basically seeing what was there. I just met loads, loads of just random people. It was just, it was really good. I knew some of the people selling, so I said hello to them. And I did buy some stuff. Yeah, I was like walking around. Yeah, this is stuff what I got. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. Thank you. Yeah. So there's one store which was just like um, they seemed to be a bit bit cheaper. It was behind one of the little main selling store, and they got like Double Dragon, Double Dragon Free. I got it for twenty quid in the end. So yeah, I did say twenty five quid. But all, all on the other tables, it was like 30 quid for some reason. But I thought, I've always wanted to play this. Definitely definitely wanted to play this. It was all box complete. And the manual was in really good condition. So I literally said, but well, you take 20 quid for it. He's like, yeah. Sounds pretty good. Um, and then I went to um, Constant Passions with the guys. Yeah, I think it was, yeah, I think it was, yeah, definitely. Yeah, Cyber Snake and Sweet Game of Raz. And yeah, so I picked up loads of games that I wanted, obviously wanted to buy from. Yeah, from Console Passions. Good lads they are, brilliant lads actually. We saw them in the evening, just at the kebab shop and had a good laugh, the replay, replay events people as well. So that was good. And yeah, and I was all literally just like picking up my games. Look, quite a lot of people from Twitter came over. I'm like, alright mate. Because normally, I, I, to be honest, I haven't seen stuff like them, even even on their like profile pictures on Twitter. They're just like a symbol, or like a Nintendo symbol, or just some kind of logo. So you, until you actually meet them, you don't know like who they are. But someone had said, oh, I'm like, I think I met, I met like Retro Hunter. Who was a Retro Hunter? Um, something about PD Man Paul. <laughs> he was a good lad, he was, yeah. So quite a lot of, few, quite a lot of like, the guys from even like Retro Asylum and stuff. When I was on my way up from Cornwall, I, I downloaded some of the Retro Asylum um, podcasts. I was just listening to them. And there's so many people like that from there. There was like those guys. So I was like speaking to them thinking, I was just listening to your voice for two and a half hours. On the way up last night, uh, yesterday. Yeah, I also met Jake, Jake74. He was a good lad as well. I think, I think it was in the afternoon, but I was pretty wrecked. <laughs> so everybody thinking, well, are you okay, mate? I was like, yeah, I just had a bit too many beers. But yeah, I think yeah, I think I met Moonbit as well, yeah, from Twitter. So I met quite a lot of Twitter people. So we're like, Twitter, you know, literally Twittering about going up there, but obviously there was no signal. So you, we couldn't exactly like Twitter about where we were or even to meet up. So I met quite a lot, yeah, quite a lot of guys who I thought I was just going up there just to meet the YouTube community. But it was just like it's good to good to meet those guys. So these are the games I picked up from Console Passions. I can't remember. I think they knocked a tenner off actually because I spe always spend quite a lot of money with them, and they knocked like a tenner off. And yeah, they're not like space. I think it was like ten percent of the price actually. Well, no, I can't remember. I don't know. So I got yeah. So I got Spider Man <laughs> versus X Men. Yeah, I think I got a tenner off actually. Um, Monopoly for the Mars system. It's just a just for my collection to be honest. I don't. I'm, that's a, you know what Monopoly's like. Where in the world is Karma San Diego? So yeah, definitely want really to give that um, a bit of a go. And it's, they've also got um, Sega for the 90s, a new generation. So I don't know what that's all about. I remember someone speak, telling me about that, actually. Saying about the stickers, about something. And I was like, yeah, too many beers. Um, I also got Crash Test Dummies. That was £10. And VR Troopers. So that was like six pound. Basically, there's like a couple of copies of VR Troopers down my retro game shops, and they're like twenty quid. So I thought, sod it, you know, just managed to spend six pound. Yeah, some of yeah, console passions. Um, the prices are hit and miss. Some 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 of the prices are really good. Sometimes like literally, they're like cheaper because obviously games go up and go down like quite a lot. So there's quite a lot of us just went and purchased quite a lot of stuff, and then some some of it's like a bit overpriced. But yeah, it was really, it was really good. Really enjoyed it. Um, oh yeah, re yeah, um, sweet game of um, sweet game of Raz, not sweet game of John. He brought he's, he's from obviously from Sweden. He came over and he actually gave me a gift, <laughs> and it was the Final Fantasy of their children. So yeah, to go along with my um, Final Fantasy collection. Yeah, cheers, mate. I can't believe it. I was literally he was like, I got a guitar, I got a, I got a gift for you, mate. And I'm like, oh, cool, because <laughs> he messaged me. Yeah, he messaged me on YouTube saying he's gonna obviously go over there and literally he was coming and he's gonna surprise everybody. So yeah, it's just a little. Um, I think it's like a knife inside. So yeah, I've opened it up just for a bit and I'm quickly closed it. So yeah, cheers, mate. It's definitely go with my Final Fantasy collection. So that was that was brilliant. Yeah. Um, actually, on the Saturday, I literally, I don't think I obviously just walked around, picked, picked up some games. Um, I just had a few beers. <laughs> Literally, all the YouTubers were just at the bar. Like, <laughs> it was just, it was well funny. It was well funny. Literally, yeah. I remember just like walking around with like the guys, and then 
I just went straight to the bar and there was a good 10, 15, probably 20 of us actually at the, like, at the most. First of all, it started off with five of us. There's um, Tutu UK and his, his mate John, <laughs> like Stu. And then slowly up, and it literally the whole like YouTube community kept on coming over. I remember like the first round was about I don't know about thirty quid, and then the second round was like fifty quid, and more YouTubers were coming over, and we were, like all looking at each other thinking this is gonna be fucking expensive. But yeah, it was like yeah, it was it was really good. It was really good like talking to everybody. Apologise if I was a bit crazy. I'm just like naturally like hey, how you doing? I remember when Woodland came over and he was like, oh, right. and I literally just grabbed his boobs straight up. <laughs> I was like, everybody thinks I'm crazy. But it's really good. It's also good to have like different personalities. So I'm quite loud. It's sort of, some people are quite quiet. So you sort of other. So you just like literally the party was about four or five different groups of like three or four people, and then you just like slowly just went round having a good chat, talking about retro games, saying you like each other's channels and that. So yeah, so yeah, it was, it was, it was like it was really funny. It was like funny all day. Yeah. So I had like one beer, and, and I was thinking, God, I brought my car over, so I wanted to do some trades with some people, and I did do some trades actually. From Two Two UK, he um, gave me yeah, basically yeah, traded Dark Cloud. Cheers, mate. And on the Sunday was it Sunday? Yeah, was it Sunday or was? I can't remember. Maybe on the Sunday I did some trades with him. So yeah, just stuff I picked up. It's quite cheap, so I thought I definitely needed this. I haven't played this for years, so yeah, I'd definitely give that a spin. And also Scratch Master Dow. Yeah, so all, basically all the people were there, if, if I can remember. I remember I'm a gamer geek, I met first, and then it was like, yeah, Cyber Snake, then um, Swede Gamer Raz, or John. <laughs> and then there was like Shocks, yeah, I remember literally like, I was like, oh, it's Shocks. Remember him from the, um, the Western Superman one. There's like Scratch Master Dow, good lad, mate, you're giving me bloody fucking man flu. <laughs> I literally had man flu a week. Literally, I was just on the... On Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and it's at home, like, oh, because I live on home, I'm like, have to cook for myself. I put on Facebook, got man flu, need food. <laughs> but there's like, yeah, like, um, it's like, um, who else was there? Yeah, Cyber Snake, there was like Woodland. Um, I even met um, Irish Nerd, Irish Nerd Life. Like, he's a <laughs> really good lad, he is. Really, I watched his YouTube channel for about. Must be about two or three years, and he was there with his mate. He was just like, "All right, dude, how you doing?" It was just well funny. Yeah, I did a couple of trades with him over a year ago, so I was surprised. Yeah, we came over from Ireland, really enjoyed it. Um, I also met eighteen, yeah, was it no sixteen bit brothers? So yeah, I was like, "Oh no, I'm sure I know you from somewhere." It wasn't until like two hours later, I'm like, "You're sixteen bit brothers." <laughs> so that was good. Yeah, it was good. On um, yeah, I met someone called Paul. I think it's Paul Bradley or Paul Bradley. So I met him as well. I said, "You yeah, check out my YouTube channel." And we had a, we had a good chat, just have a good chat with Minx as well. It was Ninja Bear Hug, Minx, Shocks. Um, Apologise if I missed some of you guys, but yeah, there was so literally so many people there, so many people. So yeah, even I met I think um, I think on the Sunday I met Ocarina Fella as well. Yeah, I've done a trade with him. So I think I don't know, I don't know what it is. I've got yeah, I think I think there's a package from him. I might just get it in a minute. But yeah, it was just it was just so good, just meeting up, meeting up and having a few beers. So yeah, so literally I drove, I drove my car back back to the hotel and I was like, I just walked in. It was only like a half an hour walk. But I'm like, literally, when I'm, obviously when I went to the mall first of all, like in the old Trafford Centre, or the Trafford Centre, it was like all quiet and literally when I'm like walking past, it was like, the, it was like busiest, busiest shopping mall ever. I'm like literally, I couldn't even like walk, I kept like knocking into everybody thinking, for fuck's sake. But yeah, but finally, finally got back over and then hit straight on the beers. It was just, it was really good actually, really good. Before that, we got to like five or six o'clock, and I'm like, bloody hell, we're like, I need some food. So we all arranged to go and meet up at, um, I don't know, it was just in the mall, just in the mall. I don't know what the place was, but I knew, I knew someone said it was just down there on the right. I think it was Weatherspoons, Weatherspoons, yeah. We met up there, and literally when we went to leave, like in the evening, <laughs> like this, all, everyone was like leaving from the shopping mall, and I was pretty drunk, and I'm thinking, oh my god, like I tried to get a taxi, but like. Just sat in a taxi for like ten minutes, thinking I'm not even going anywhere. How many moved five feet? So I just gave, gave the guy two quid. I'm like, mate, sod this. I started walking. So I walked into the mall, and for some reason, <laughs> like I got, I must have got lost because I came, I came out, and then literally half an hour later, I was thinking, oh, I'm like, I like, I came out where I started. I'm thinking, what the hell? I came back to like the play expo. I'm like, what the, what have I done? Because I went, I must have went in the wrong door and then came out like another door, and it was just like, just so annoying. Like there's so many people leaving. The rows are all chock a block. So finally, literally like about quarter to seven, got to the bloody hotel, was able to have a quick shower and just get yeah get back to um, meeting everyone in the evening and that. 
And then literally, I was like walking past thinking, hey, they're all the cars I just walked past about half an hour ago. They're all still there, literally at the same traffic lights. So it was, all, it was just a nightmare, the traffic around that place. But yeah, it's just good. Good, yeah, we had some food in the evening and that, so that was good. It was just, it was just random, like literally in Cornwall, all the shops closed at like five, half four on Saturday. But the mall was still open to like half nine. I'm thinking, there's people still shopping. So that was good, yeah. So I did on, yeah, what else? Oh, yeah. Um, basically, yeah, there was, a, there was a stand. I forgot what they were actually called, actually. I've got loads of them here. I've got loads of these little bloody leaflets. Ah, oh, Blue Bear Gaming. It was from Blue Bear Gaming. He had like a box of just manuals, and I picked up about five or six manuals. Mainly just like common ones, but the main one was Breath of Fire. Yeah, Breath of Fire 4, with a manual, and it was two quid. I was like, damn, yeah, it was like, brilliant. I need that for my collection. So I picked it up for two quid, just a manual. So I got a box and complete one of that. So that was quite good. Um, yeah, Saturday night. <laughs> yeah, Saturday night was like a few too many beers, mate. A few too many beers. We finally got into like Manchester. Basically, yeah, I remember we went down the arcade. I think me, yeah, me and Ninja, ben, Ninja Bear Hug just went down to the arcade. Just down there, had a few beers. And all the retro collect people came over. Like, yeah, Steve and just all them lot. Just all came, they were just down there, obviously, because it's like probably the best arcade in the area. Or probably the only arcade in the area. So we all had a few beers. Oh, I just need a drink. Mm. Down there, we had some kind of bloody, um, some kind of like, I don't know, it's hard to explain, some house of dead, but it was inside, it was like, it was like rumbling, and like the seats were rumbling, there was like air blown on our shoulders, I can't think of the game for the life of me, but if you remember the game, it was just, it was just awesome, the shooting. It's quite scary inside, so, yeah, it was like, it was a brilliant, brilliant machine. Then the guys were going on, outrun, like two player, and it, like that. And then we were sort of like milling around for about half an hour, about an hour. I remember looking at a dairy, yeah, it was well random. I remember looking at a dairy milk bar. Yeah, one of those, obviously, one of those, one of those grab it. It's like a dairy milk bar just on the edge. I'm thinking, if someone spends a quid, they are so getting that dairy milk button, but, um, um, chocolate, like big, big, yeah, big chocolate bar. And I was like looking at it, do I go? And I thought, oh, I don't know. And then some like some guy came along and literally just pushed it in front of me, put the pound in, went boom. Got like a free, and then he got the dairy milk bar. And I'm like, ah, oh, why didn't I do that? That's <laughs> well funny. I'm like, fuck sake. Yeah, and then we sort of milling around for half an hour. Do we go out afterwards? Or some of them decided to stay there and like, do we go out? Do we not go out? So just like, yeah, it's me, yeah, me, Stu, John, there's a Minx, a couple of Scratch Master Dow, a couple of the other guys. And then, yeah, we decided, yeah, we may as well just go in the towns. And we're like, yeah, we said, where's the exit? And the woman's like, the exit's that way. And it's, it's weird, I guess it's just because it's like a mall, all you've got is like car parks. I didn't, I didn't even see like a front door or anything where all the buses drop people off or even where like, even the taxis. So we just like, we got the, got to the exit and then suddenly we're like, in the car park. We're like, what the hell? I'm like, we're just in the car park. So we finally found a way out the car park and then we got into the main road, just outside, um, between the Trafford Centre. I think there's like a Tesco's or something there, or an Asda. And then, um, it looked like we were all sort of like going home, going home like different directions and that. So, but then we all just, we all just got on this bus, <laughs> all aboard the miserable bus. <laughs> and we just got on this bus, it was like, I think it was a two or three pound to um, get into the town. I think Stu, yeah, Stu and John had some kind of like day ticket so they can use. And then we just got on this bus and we went, it's a double decker, went upstairs on the double decker and every seat seemed to have like one person sitting and literally looking out the window with like headphones on them and like all aboard the miserable bus. Everyone literally looked like, it was like five to twelve, they did not look happy. I'm like, fucking cheer up. <laughs> we, were quite, we were quite loud on the bus. Then we drove past the, like, the Trafford, the old Trafford Stadium. Minx just, Minx just had a rage about, <laughs> a rage about Nottingham Forest. He's like, you never be as good as Cluffy. You never be as good as Cluffy. Retaining the European Cup. <laughs> we were literally thinking, we're going to get beaten up in a minute. But all the other people didn't really notice. There's a guy who sat, or I sat next to him. He didn't even look over. He just like, stared out the window. I'm like, I'm like, look at these bloody zombies. The bus, yeah, the bus was really weird. I'm like, like in Cornwall, there's like a bus stop every like I don't know four or five miles. There seem to be a bus stop every two or three hundred yards. And like literally, someone press stop and then get off, and then thirty seconds, and the bus going really slowly. They're like boom, getting off again. I'm like, in the last five minutes, we've had like four stops. It was like, well, this is it's stupid. I'm like, you could have just got one of what got off at one of the stops in the middle, and then just like walk an extra two or three minutes. And then we finally literally again, we're again obviously getting to the centre of like Manchester. And then you saw like you saw all the people. It's like oh the bars and stuff. We're like yeah. So we we all we all went downstairs, and then we must have been there's about ten minutes, just like literally just standing in the front of the bus, going brr, 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 waiting for the bus driver to fucking fucking open the door <laughs> because we're like because waiting for a bus stop. I'm like how come back there you had like 
in 10 minutes you had like five or six stops and now we've been here 10 minutes you had one stop yet through Manchester so yeah so it was quite funny yeah so we yeah, got off the bus and then we saw a Yates we're like Yates let's go into Yates so we walked, yeah, literally walked straight in went to the bar and some of the guys didn't get in I, I, I don't know why some of the guys didn't get in I, was, I don't know if they were wearing trainers or shoot, I'm sure one of us I'm sure John was wearing trainers I was always wear shoes when I go out just in case um, yeah, so like, yeah, so there's like me, Stu, and like John at the bar, and then um, it was called Master, is it Master, Master Neckbreaker, or Neckbreaker, he came into some of them can't get in, and literally we just got a point, so I was just thinking, I was thinking, oh, <laughs> I'm like, sorry guys, we're gonna, literally just spent the last half an hour, we finally got a pint, and there's like two random lesbians dancing in front of us, I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm like, sorry guys, we're just gonna stay in here, I think, but I don't know if he actually told them, but he, he stayed as well, so it was like me, John, Stu, Net breaker, and it was quite funny. It was it was quite a good night actually. So many little random shots and stuff. I was like absolutely wasted. Had a good good little dance on the dance floor. Ooh, tearing up the dance floor. Some nice, yeah, some nice women. <laughs> so I did that for about an hour, hour and a half. So yeah, it was that was a good shot out of a few beers. And I didn't realise how late it was. I just literally just just looked over to Stew, and he was just like leaning, he was just like leaning against the DJ booth, just going, game over, man, game <laughs> over. It was just so funny. <laughs> I think and that's the end of that story. I think we have to go now because literally I was pretty wrecked and so alone. And so yeah, so yeah, it was it was good. I was loving dancing, mate. Tearing up the dance floor, tearing up the dance floor. So yeah, and then we yeah we finally left yeah left there and went to get some food. And all the, you had all the the play expo people, all the replay the replay events team. They were there, so they're at the kebab shop. We're like, alright guys, absolutely doing being wrecked, doing high fives and whatever. <laughs> and I don't know where like my net breaker went. <laughs> they said net breaker. There was literally like an, I think there was like a, <laughs> I don't know if I would explain the story or not. But he said net breaker disappeared, and we waited for half an hour. We don't know. I literally, I think I, I don't want to say where he sort of went, but yeah. So he disappeared for half an hour, and then we just decided we thought, yeah, that's, we're just going to get a taxi home. So I apologise if we left you behind, mate. But if you never went off, <laughs> you probably would have stayed with us and got a taxi back. So I apologise if that sort of ruined your weekend because I didn't see you on the on the whole of the Sunday, and apparently you left you left quite early. So I do yeah, I apologise if you felt we left you there, but you did disappear. We were in the kebab shop for about half an hour. We waited for about ten minutes outside, and you disappeared. <laughs> so you never disappeared and actually stayed with us with like all the replay events. So hopefully, hopefully when you did come out, <laughs> you did see the other guys and maybe got a taxi back with them. So so yeah, so we got got a taxi back. So. And then the next morning on the Sunday, oh, oh my, I was just like, I was gone, mate, gone. I literally, I got, yeah, drove over, um, got to go on the play expo on the Sunday. But about 10, half 10, it must have been for two hours, I was just zombieing it around, just playing everything, walking around, just literally on the, in a circle, just on my own, just going, oh, like a zombie, <laughs> like an absolute fucking zombie. <laughs> it was well funny. Like I needed some food, and yeah, I was, I was like, "Who else did I meet?" I'm trying to think who else. And then I saw, um, I saw a couple of guys. Literally, yeah, I saw a couple of guys on the table. I didn't really speak to you on the Saturday, but I was just like speaking to them. Um, they were actually from, I think they're from Sweden and Holland as well. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think what their names are. Let's have a quick look. And they recognised me, but I sort of recognised one of them. But I've only just, I've only just subbed to the other one. And, and I'd literally just comment, oh yeah, I comment on his um, on his like um, what's it called on his YouTube, and realised it was last 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 year's one, because <laughs> he literally did yeah, he did Play Expo from two thousand and twelve, and that was his last video I think, so I just literally just comment on that. Yeah, literally, yeah, literally like yeah, it just says one year, and then he's done one a couple of days ago. Don't know how to pronounce it, but it's called Custodu, <laughs> Custodu. <laughs> that's him, that's him, yeah. So it was like him, yeah, and he was with another mate, yeah, so literally I was just out of it, like, oh. He was saying, he was like, oh, you look quite young. I'm like, yeah, even though I'm like, I look quite young, I'm 30 years old, just, I've got no kids, so I haven't got the, the grey hair. <laughs> that was quite funny. So, yeah, so literally I, I went and ordered a pasty, I'm like, this better be Cornish pasties. Had a pasty, and it was like, it was like some kind of chicken in there. I'm like, this isn't a bloody meat pasty like a rascal, so I took that back. Literally, I was, just, I was just out of it. That's when I sort of met like Ocarina Feller. Actually, it was a good lad. Actually, we had good, good conversation and that. So I apologise if I was like, I was like half cut on this on the on the Sunday. <laughs> and then Sue comes along. And he's having a few beers. I'm like, what the hell? I was like, mate, you having a few beers? 
<laughs> what happened here with you beers after last night? So it's really good to see everybody, yeah, so glad, glad, yeah, it was, it was a good shout. Um, like I said, I had some, obviously, some games, I took some games up there, and I literally sort of took the best ones out, which I thought obviously would make money, and I took them over to, um, to one of the retro games um, stands. I'm trying to think who's the other guy, yeah. Yeah, I took them over to the retro games um, stand, and I was able to swap. So I picked up this, Ray Crisis, I've been looking for it for a while now. It had fifteen, yeah, it had um, fifteen pounds on it. I think I got it for a ten. I think I just I swapped it with. I think it was a Final Fantasy guide actually. I had a Final Fantasy Nine guide. I just like how much you give trade on this, and he just said like eight quid. I'm like, how about Ray Ray um, Ray Crisis? I value it as ten pound. And then yeah, so I literally traded that in. Yeah, traded in the guide, and then there's really an extra quid. So that's how I got that. I also, um, yeah, some one of the other stands. I just traded lots of lots of crap in, to be honest. Didn't get didn't get much trade. The trading was a bit crap, but some of the games that I did trade in, they sort of had some scratches, and that obviously they could obviously do the disc cleaning and stuff. So, so this is what I got. Some PS One games. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Johnny Bazooka at one. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you know what I'm on about. Vandal Hearts 2, 30 quid. I realise now that's literally, it used to be 30 quid, literally about a year ago it used to be 30 quid, but now you can pick it up on Amazon and eBay for about 16, 17 pounds complete. But this one, I think maybe this why it was a bit more expensive, it had the Sudoken 2, like actual demo on there. So maybe the ones I'll see on eBay and that. And it also comes like with the little um, hints book or demo manual as well. So maybe that's why it's a bit more than normal. Um, Enemy or XCOM Terror for the Deep. So yeah, I had the other one, which is Enemy Unknown XCOM. So most of them, literally, when I traded, when, when I wanted to trade all my stuff in, um, I think my trading value was about sixty pound. I think um, I basically had every single game. So there's only some of these. I was, was literally, I'm thinking these are the only ones that I was actually missing. But until I got home, I think because I'm not updating my list. And my very first PS1 game that I picked up. Or I got as a kid was assault rigs. I remember getting this and Descent for Christmas. So yeah, so assault rigs, which I literally can't find. I've been looking for, literally been looking for it on eBay, and I can only find it with like maybe one copy every like two or three months. But this one says made in Australia on the back. So I don't know whether it was just an Australian release, but I remember literally getting it for Christmas. So it's one of those. Yeah, I think it's the last double. Double case of the original, like fat ones, obviously with Tomb Raider, True Pinball. And this one's only one disc. So, and it, I think it has like the two different manuals. Yeah, it has a yeah, it has two different manuals. So some of these ones have two different manuals. So sometimes you think they are actually complete, but some of them have two different manuals with like three um, languages in one book and three languages in the other. Also picked up Lost Vikings for twenty quid. I think I traded some more stuff in for that. So yeah, so I was happy with my trades. To be honest, it wasn't anything. They picked up some good. I literally took my bag in. They picked all the stuff I thought they would take. They like obviously they must sell like different stuff at conventions and that. They didn't want any of my box like um, Pokemon games or anything, or any or any of my Game Boy games because they do, they said they don't really sell. There's mainly the um, unbox ones or just like random consoles. So, yeah, so literally I I did that. Um, yeah, traded in. Yeah, I got a good deal. I'm, I am. Yeah, I'm happy. So some of that stuff I literally. To be honest, picked up for car boots, a couple of quid, three pound, or they're just, just um, yeah, just extra stock for me. To be honest, and yeah, and then I, as I was just like walking around on the Sunday, I noticed they had the box Game Boy, which I had. I had a box Game Boy with like the Tetris and I think like the extra like headphones and stuff, and they had it for like fifty quid. I'm thinking, fuck it, now I didn't realise it's worth fifty quid. I said, how much trade would you give me? And they're like thirty quid. So I just went out in the car, um, yeah, came out, yeah. Yeah, came back in, and I traded it in. <laughs> I I am I am the smug who decided to actually do this, but I traded it in and I gave him extra tenner, um, and actually got <laughs> the box super set Nintendo. <laughs> but this one was priced at forty five pound with no Nintendo, so it came with the free controllers, the monitor, and the actual game, which. Um, 
can't seem to find the game anywhere. So it's like the multi game, which is like four or five games in one. So the Nintendo World Game Pack, yeah, which is like Super Mario Brothers, Tetris, and we yeah, have World Cup in it. Three games in it. So I, I've never actually seen the actual that actual multi cart before. So they and literally because obviously these were all the stuff that I wanted, all the other stuff I already had. I'm thinking, oh, literally, I'm thinking I'm never gonna get thirty pounds for that Game Boy. I thought I could sell it on eBay. And it's just like too much hassle, posting it off, insuring it, and then still the guy, still the guy would probably claim off me. Then it didn't arrive. So yeah, so so I had my box Game Boy, which I only picked up for like a five pound a couple of months ago, which some some Game Boy games, like a couple of Pokemon Reds or Blues, or whatever. So I've already sold them on, and I gave him extra tenner. So yeah, so I got this for forty pound, and I got spare. Obviously, as you know by my channel, I got spare Nintendo for fun. So I put that. I'm gonna put that in. Oh, also remember this, yeah, I picked up a manual, this was like two quid as well, Discworld. Yeah, that was Discworld, yeah, Discworld 2, missing presumed, just in case I pick up an uncomplete copy. So yeah, I've actually emailed Blue Bear, because he, had like loads, he said he had loads of manuals, so I emailed him a couple of times, so hopefully he gets back to me, saying about literally all, my, all, the, all the manuals I needed, so he said he's got shit loads of them. Yeah, so it was a really good weekend actually, really good weekend, much better than the previous year when it was so close together where you literally had all the cosplay people at the front door and when you're trying to play all the video games you can hear them, but they were sort of they're at the back hiding somewhere, so which is really good and there are loads of little random little stores as well. So yeah, just like, um, I will show you the cards but I can't even remember what they are to be honest, like the anime league and stuff. Yeah, so I just like to say congratulations to um, Replay Events for another brilliant, brilliant show, brilliant event. Retro Collect for their stand and that. I should have took. I should have took some of my games. I sort of literally got a bag of like sort of like games I could easily take them, which I can't make money off. People don't want to buy them. That could have maybe swapped instead of me paying five pound for a t-shirt. I could have took a bag of games and gave it to them. Maybe got the t-shirt for free, but obviously people could the little free little table. Um, I might, yeah, definitely going to enter more competitions next year. <laughs> I do have a few too many beers on the Saturday, so yeah. So yeah, I entered the Golden Eye competition. Oh man, I came like joint second. I'm like, fuck's sake, it's like the third like event in the row that came like second. I'm like, oh, I should have won it really. It was bloody, it was like bloody rocket launchers, <laughs> and I literally needed one more kill, and I saw I killed two people, but it also killed me or something. It was just, oh my, it was just, oh no, I killed yeah. I needed to kill one more kill. I was sort of like killed somebody, and then literally I ran into my own fucking flame, and then died. And then literally I'm like no, and then ran round. Because I spawned so far away, it took me two or three minutes to even get there. It wasn't the normal maps. They they modded the carts. So you can you're in um, Princess Peach's castle, so you run around in Princess Peach's castle from like Mario from them um, yes Mario um, Mario um, 64. So that was quite that was quite funny, but yeah, you sort of like. You sort of need to know the layout. There's only like one rocket launch in one of the rooms, and so when soon you get there, it's just like it's quite funny. <laughs> For the first game I played, everyone was bloody odd job, and we were just firing rocket launchers past each other's heads, and it was like ridiculous. We couldn't even get any bloody kills or anything, or couldn't even find anybody because we we're all fucking odd job. But yeah, I'll just go and get. Uh, uh, where Okay, there it is, hopefully, <laughs> that's from Ocarina fella. Cool, note, Richie of the manuals for the game cues we spoke about on Facebook. Yeah, hopefully, yeah, hopefully it um, completes your games. Cheers, mate. And that was um, Crazy Taxi. And Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut. Cheers, mate. I've only got like one uncomplete one now, actually, for the GameCube. So at least that's, that's all done. So yeah, cheers, mate. Also going to do um, yeah, a couple other trades. I think it's called, is it the, the Hoot? <laughs> literally, I get literally so many fucking emails and stuff. So I'll quickly have a look. I think it, it is the Hoot. It is the Hoot. He's from Liverpool. He was a good laugh as well, mate. Yeah, I remember, I remember buying an extra pint. I was thinking, oh, whose pint's this for? And he gave that to the Hoot. Let's see, I got his messages somewhere. 
The host. <laughs> Not the host. The host too. Yeah, cheers, mate. <laughs> Sorry, you got your name wrong. <laughs> I'm so bad with memories and stuff. But yeah, it was great to meet you, fella. Great to meet you, fella. So yeah, so hopefully see you at future events. Um, I, I've sent some games um, to him. I think I sent um, Oracle of Ages or something to him, and he's going to send me send me a, a couple of Saturn games or Saturn game like a manual that I needed for my collection. So yeah. So it was great to see you guys. Yeah, I apologise if I was loud and that. Um, I, did, I did sort of miss some YouTubers. So yeah, so so I've missed some of you up there. Definitely just come over. We'll definitely yeah, definitely be of speaking and that. And and if they, if you haven't, if you, if there's people up there who sub to my channel who've never been before, um, you just gotta go, man. Even if you're shy, you can easily just turn up. Just like be at the bar. You have to you have to talk to everyone. We're not in like a round circle and that was like talking little groups of four or five and you just slowly just mix around and. Just have a good laugh. You don't even have to drink. You just sit there, sit there with your OJ. We're not taking the mickey out of each other because you're not drinking. We're just having a good laugh and it's just good to meet people and just talk about retro games, actually. That's what it was about. So so hopefully next year, there's, I was thinking, oh, there's a couple of people. I was like, oh, where's, where's Emo Joe? I'm like, Emo Joe, you've got to go, mate. So you see this, you better go next year. And into Ghost, where are you, boy? So yeah, into Ghost. So hopefully, yeah, so hopefully next year, people put in their diaries, book it off, book the hotels. So yeah. So there's a couple of YouTubers I would like to meet in person. That's Pompey Games. So Pompey Games. So if you're out there, mate, you know you gotta go. So I'd love to see you meet in person. And Arcade Wheels. So they're the two YouTubers I sort of like you are know, first like subscribed to about three years ago. That actually got me sort of actually on on sort of like YouTube doing my videos. So so you guys, yeah, I'd love to meet some of you guys. So yeah, so well done to Retro Collect and Retro Asylum, the guys. Um, yeah, that's the Play Expo people. So. Yeah, so it was really good, really good event, really good event. Oh, I need a drink. <laughs> I went out last night. Because <laughs> I'm on holiday, you sort of feel you have to go out, don't you? Mm. Oh yeah, future events. Um, there's a few future events next year. It's sort of been a bit of hell up. Because the next, this next event, which is by um, people on Play Expo, is like beginning of May, which is May the 4th, May the 5th. And that's in Blackport, so it's gone back to its like roots where it originally started from. But that, that's sort of in the same month as like retro. Is it retro mission or retro revival? So there's been a little bit of hell up in the community on the Twitter, on the Facebook, and that because you know, there's got two big events in the same month. But I think I think the guys like Darren, you no know, Dave Moore, and the other guys from Retro Revival, I think they've had a good discussion on that. And Retro Revival has actually moved to like August. I think it's like August, like early August. So so put that in your diaries, guys. Look, yeah, look on type in type in Google Retro Revival. So yeah, so the next yeah, so the next event I'm going to is actually Geek 2014, and that's actually in Margate. So it's in the south of England. Yeah, Margate. It's not the best place, Margate. <laughs> it's, it's like, it is pretty scabby, but the event is brilliant. It's much smaller, and um, there's loads obviously retro games there. They got like they got two or three different halls. So you have all like the traders in one hall, and it's sort of like the cosplayers in the other hall. You just have like all the competitions. And yeah, and literally just all the, all the, all the games and that. A much smaller event, so there'll be less people. <coughs> There's probably about you know one or two thousand people there. So it's it's I prefer it. I, to be honest, I prefer it because it's not as big as the other one. But you get to meet more people. You get to be involved in more of the day, if you know what I mean. To be honest, at Play Expo, even though we're at the bar, we're so far away of all the stuff. I completely forgot. Like even it was actually the even the event, if you know what I mean. On the Saturday, I'm like, oh, I forgot. I didn't play it. I came here. Came here for like a retro gaming weekend, but we were talking with YouTubers and retro gaming. But I haven't didn't even play like one thing, so I sort of thought I wasted my money that way. But it was just good, good meeting up with the YouTube. So it's in Margate. It's in February. I think it's February half term at the end, like twenty fourth or twenty fifth. So yeah. So type in Geek twenty fourteen. Last year was obviously Geek twenty thirteen. It was really good. Check out my video. I did a video of actually walking around on I think the end of the day and the end of the day on the Saturday night when literally there was hardly anyone there. So I was able to walk around sort of a camera, and yeah, so as much yeah. So if you Northerners want to come down south for once, <coughs> instead of us South Southerners going up north, so that'll be really good, yeah. So yeah, so put that in your diaries, February, and then obviously you got the one, um, yeah, in Blackpool, re or replay, basically yeah, replay back to Blackpool in May, and then you got August, um, retro revival, and then you got. Play Expo, which is in October. So normally, so basically every three months, there's literally one event. So I'm going to try and tend all four. I've booked holiday off for free, so it's just retro revival. I sort of need to book off. So, so yeah. So if you can, guys, try and get to a couple more events and that. Even even if you like, only just watch watch the YouTubers and don't really have a channel yourself. You know, still get to do these events. 
it's good to just to do trades, meet people, talk about retro games. That's what it's all about. It's all about the community, really. So, sometimes, like, because literally, all, all the well, like I said on the Saturday, I just couldn't be bothered with like the other half because I've already got some of it. I've got most of it. There's a couple of consoles or old like Amstrad PCs, like I don't know, this big, like some kind of bloody machine, <coughs> which I haven't seen before. But I had no interest in playing it, to be honest. No interest in playing it. But yeah, I was loving the pinball machines. <coughs> pinball machines were brilliant. Brilliant. It was well funny. But when I went to sort of play them on the Sunday afternoon, <coughs> oh man, choking. Often we're like all broken. <laughs> well, the arcade machines were destroyed. <laughs> I think I did a little video. Yeah, I think I did done a little video. I completely forgot about that. The little video of all the arcade machines. And probably about 30% of them were just like out of order, out of order, out of order, out of order, destroyed, broken, broken, broken. So, <laughs> so the yeah, idea. Some of them got pretty beaten up, but they are literally some of them 20, 30, 40 years old. So, yeah. Yeah, so thanks for the thanks for watching guys. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>